Okay, just give me a second. All right, welcome again to the IELTS Writing Task 2 Masterclass, and this is your coach, Coach A. Now, to set your expectation with our webinar or masterclass tonight or today, we are going to deal with one of the essay prompts in the IELTS Writing Task 2, and that is this discussion opinion essay. Next, we're, we're, we're going to talk about the task description of this essay prompt, how you are going to structure or the essay paradigm that you could employ, and lastly, I'm going to let you practice using the step-by-step -step writing approaches um, that will enable you to get seven to set to more than band seven of writing score, okay? Particularly in the writing past two. Now, let's have a quick brush up of the foundation or, yes, the foundation in terms of writing the writing past two. Now, how much time you have, advisably, how much time you have for the writing task one? I mean, task two. Yes, this will take for one to two hours. Yes, this master class will take for one to two hours. Okay, you guys have 40 minutes. But that is just an option, I mean, an advice or that's how you will approximately deal with the writing task too. For the task one, of course, advisedly, you have to spend at least 20 minutes. Why do, you think, why do you think you have to spend 40 minutes? Why do you think? What is the reason why the IELTS gives you 40 minutes for the writing task too? Let's have a quick brush up. You should know about that. Most especially if you're aiming for band seven. What is the percentage of score that you will get in the writing task too? Okay, approximately 65%, but that is two thirds or 67%. So 67 of overall writing task score of your overall writing task score will, uh, I mean, came from the, the writing task two and two thirds for the writing task one. All right, so there are lots of essays in the IELTS writing task two. And um, if I'm not mistaken, last week we had a master class um, and we talked about problem and solution essay. And now we're gonna be talking about the discussion opinion essay. All right, so let's get started with the task description. So what is the description of this task? How do I need, to, how would I be able, how could I be able to attack this task on the actual test? Do I have to immediately write my essay without planning, without even knowing the task description? Let's find out. Now, this is the essay prompt that we are going to focus on. And that is, okay, let me just read. Some people believe that studying at a, uh, a university or college is the best route to a successful career, while others believe that it is better to get a job. Discuss both views and give your opinion. Now, this is just an excerpt of your writing task two, okay? Task two um, format, because of course you will see um, writing task two, you should spend at least 40 minutes on this task by writing about the following essay topic, then this essay prompt. Then uh, 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 after this essay prompt, you will see one to two statements or sentences as part of the instructions that will tell you, you have to write a minimum of 250 words for your essay. So some, um, you can even give your opinion, I mean, an example, cite examples based on your, um, your experiences or knowledge and experiences. Now, so this is the essay prompt that we will be writing about. So first, what is the topic in this essay? I want you to chat, what is the topic in this essay? Let me read again. Some people believe that studying at university or college is the best route to a successful career 
while others believe that it is better to get a job. Discuss both views and give your opinion. What do you think is the nucleus of this essay? What is the central point or idea in this essay? Career, mm -hmm. education versus job, successful career. Okay. Now, the first half of your essay prompt is what we called the proposition, okay? The proposition contains the, the, the background statement and the, the opinion statement, if there is. Or if there is background statement, then the opinion statement. The second half, okay, this one, it could be in a statement form, declarative, or in an interrogative form, such as, what are the causes of global warming and what measures can be done to, to solve this? So that is an interrogative I mean, statement. So in this case, discuss both views and give your opinion. It is in a declarative sentence. Now, and in the proposition, both, the, I mean, as you have noticed, there are two, two things that you have to keep in mind. But there are two groups of people who are arguing about something. And that is no other than about the route to a successful career. Now, meaning to say, Coach A, there are two groups of people who are arguing about this, who are claiming that this is the best and this is the better one to do to achieve a successful career. Short answer, yes. So this is the first thing that you're going to do on the actual test. And do not try to write immediately after knowing the topic of your essay. Let's keep going. What other questions that you have to introspect first prior to writing your introductory paragraph? How many people's opinions do you see? How many people's opinions do you see? Let me read the prompt again. Some people believe that studying at university or college is the best route to a successful career, while others believe that it is better to get a job. Hmm, what do you think? How many opinions? Yes, Rana, you're correct. And Harpa, there are two opinions, two, group, uh, two opinions of group of people. I don't know who they are and what is their race or their nationalities. So, but what, it is, what is clear to me that there are two opinions here and they're arguing about what is, uh, arguing about the people's path to a successful career. Could you tell me something about the synonym of the word career? Successful career. Does it talk about the present, uh, your present life or your life in the future? Employment career, what else? I mean, what is it? Your journey, your professional journey. It could be professional or your employment career. It, it depends, okay? Because not all successful people have, yes, I, I admit, admittedly, there are people who became successful not just because they have this um, you know, you have this Latin owners or even they have lots of educational qualifications because there are testimonies who have became um, successful in their career even if they're, they, they, they're just elementary or high school graduate. But because of determination, they can um, they, they achieve the highest peak of their success. Mm hmm Good example. Yes, Bill Gates. Who else? Hmm. I think you're familiar with Alibaba. Hmm. Yeah, but um, Jack Miss, um, Jack Miss story is different. Probably because, uh, well, somehow because Jack Ma has been um declined for lots of times in terms of his employment. Probably. All right. So there are two opinions here. What do you think is the first opinion? Can you give at least one of the two opinions that you can see?
What do you think? Can you give me one opinion mentioned in the proposition? Okay, studying is the best route to a successful career. Successful career and need good college education. Okay. All right, so that is one. One of the two. Yes, studying. Um, the first group of people, think about, you know, think about, um, I want you, you to see yourself as, hmm, as a judge, okay? Now, not a lawyer, but a judge, okay? So what you're going to do is imagine that there are two groups of people who are arguing about something, and you have to see their arguments, and you have to put your, yourself on their shoes. Now, the first opinion is this one. Some people believe that studying at university or college is the best. Okay, and the, the question is, I mean, the topic is about the, the route to a successful career. So there are people who claim that, yeah, education is the key to success. On the other hand, there are also groups of pe uh, a group of people um, who claim that it is better to get a job in order to, to have a successful career. Now, since there are two opinions in one topic, so what is your job? Both sides or one side? Discuss both views and give your opinion. What do you mean by discuss? Hmm, could you tell me something about the word discuss? Anybody? What do you mean by discuss? Another term for the word discuss. Explain or elaborate. Yes, that's right. Explain or elaborate. Okay, so that's basically discussion. So, um, Coach A, do you mean, um, can I give my opinion? Can I, can I integrate or embed my opinion while discussing? What do you think? All right, so when you're going to discuss, it, it depends. It depends upon what style are, or approach are you going to employ. But here, as, our, as what Harpal says, we have to explain both points. So meaning to say, Coach A, I need to see myself as, I mean, as, um, as someone who, believe, uh, who believes that studying is the best route or and someone who believes that it is better to get a job. So that, do you mean, does it mean that I'm going to, to juxtapose both sides? Short answer, yes, because that is what the, the task requirement requires you to do. Yes, yeah, so both views. Next, now there is an essay prompt that requires you to discuss only, and that is what we call purely discussion. It's a straightforward to a discussion essay. But here, there's another half of your task requirement that allows you to give your opinion. Should you give your personal opinion? Yes. Meaning to say, you can lean on to one side or to the other side. You can even juxtapose both of them and arrive with a balanced point of view. Yes. That's right. I know what you're thinking of. What if Coach A, um, I just have come across with discuss both views. Should I give my opinion? No. Why do you have to give your opinion if the question requires you to just discuss both views? So don't give your opinion if it is just discussion essay. But here, you have to give your opinion. In which part of my essay, Coach A? Do I have to give my opinion in my thesis, my body paragraphs, or should I write another paragraph, or should I embed my opinion together with my conclusion? Now, there are lots of techniques where, that we can employ. And, but before that, let's remember the task requirements of your essay. Now, first, it requires you to discuss why studying a 
in, in, at university or college is the best route to a successful life. And on the other hand, why do you think that it is also good to get a job? Next, at the end, all right, so after discussion, you can give your opinion. But there are styles and approaches where and in which part of your essay can you cite or can you disclose your opinion. So here's the essay paradigm. You can take a snapshot of the essay paradigms that I will be showing you here. When you say paradigm, it's the structure of your essay. There are lots of structures when you, uh, that you can employ when you're writing discussion opinion essay. So I divided this two into block and point by point. There are, there are different styles for block and there are different, uh, there, there is one point of uh, point by point paradigm or style. So here, given that you know that there are three major parts of your essay, we have the introductory paragraph, the body paragraphs, and your conclusion. So here, I want you to pay attention to this table. So the first column, the number of paragraphs, and the second column here is your plan. What is your plan? So for the first paragraph, you're going to introduce the topic of your essay and the essay structure, okay? Now, you can develop two to three body paragraphs for side one that you will be discussing studying at university or college is the best route. Or another three to four paragraphs for side two. It is better to get a job. So both sides are discussed or are being discussed together in your main paragraphs. Okay? Main paragraphs. One side is to one paragraph. All right. So here, in this block style one, it allows you to write another short body paragraph to disclose your opinion or to give your opinion. Why do you have to give your opinion? Because in your body paragraphs, you're just merely discussing the two sides. Now, you will have another short paragraph that you could go one-sided, lean onto one side, or a balanced point of view, a balance of two sides. And in your sixth paragraph, you can arrive with your concluding, or you can just drive home the essay, merely um, recapping the topic and restating your thesis. You have to write your thesis, because you are going to give your opinion. Here's the block style two. The block style two requires you to write in four paragraphs. Your first paragraph is the same, but they differ in your fourth paragraph. It's the same, discussion in the two, one paragraph only, and one paragraph for the second view. So basically, you just have to discuss. And you can give your opinion together with the conclusion. Meaning to say, both opinion statement or paragraph are combined in your last paragraph. Together, of course, with your conclusion. So they have similarities. Block one and, I mean, style one, block style one and block style two. But they differ when it comes to how would you structure the paragraphing? Block style three. So here, block style three and block style four, I'm going to be talking about the one-sided, okay? So here, it's the same. You have your body paragraph one as your introductory paragraph. But as you have noticed, the first idea being introduced in the essay prompt, it's studying at university. In this style, you're going to talk about your view. You're going to choose one, okay? You're going to choose one. So meaning to say in your thesis, you're going to choose one side if you followed this block style three, okay? Then your side two is technically giving or um, giving your opinion and at the same time discussing, uh, I mean, discussing this point of view of this group of people and your opinion as well. And why do you think that it is better than having 
uh, a job uh, after graduating in high school. So first, if it's one-sided, talk about the, the first opinion and the second half of your essay should be about your opinion. Coach A, should I give my, should I give my opinion, overall opinion? There's no need. There's no need for overall opinion because you already gave your opinion in your body paragraph three. Block style four. This is the last block style. Here, it's the same as the previous one. However, in this, in this style, you can talk about get a job, to get a job. So we're going to be talking about the opinion of group of people, but not your opinion, in the first body paragraph. And the second body paragraph, which is paragraph three of your essay, is your opinion. So discuss and then give your opinion. And last but not the least style is the point by point. This is kind of tricky. But yes, this is all. You can also maximize your score here. All right. So in the point by point style, you have the same introductory paragraphs in all styles but they differ when it comes to the body paragraphs. So in the previous graphs, you can just give your, uh, write your paragraph for opinion or just lean onto one side or your opinion is embedded together with the conclusion. In the point by point style, you are going to immediately explain if you agree or disagree with this opinion, okay? So side one, studying at university or college is the best route to a successful career. So basically, the first half of your body paragraph two, this one, or paragraph two, is about merely discussing. Discussing why this is like this and why this is like that. And the second half is you're going to be discussing about your opinion. So, however, from my point of view, blah, 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 blah. So was in the second uh, side. It is better to get a job. Discuss. And at the latter part of your, of your body paragraph, you're going to be giving your own opinion. And of course, since you have given your opinions in both, par in both sides in the body paragraphs, no, there's no need for us to, to give your opinion in the conclusion. But you can restate, okay? You can restate, okay? You can just restate or just recap your opinion again. Whether you will have a balanced opinion or a, a, a one-sided opinion, it's up to you. There's no right or wrong style and there's no right or wrong opinion. Now, let's move on to the writing process. The writing process requires you to first, according to examiners, most of, the, most of the test takers failed or um, fall short in their writing scores because they tend to fail or they tend to be lackadaisical when it comes to planning, the planning stage. As the quotation says, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So it is very important that you have a good structure of, uh, of essay. Remember, this is two-thirds. Okay, first, plan your essay. At this point, I want you to grab a pen and paper. Please grab a pen and paper, any scratch paper that you have. And of course, a pen. You can, um, I, I discourage you to use notepad. Please don't use notepad today. And even on the actual test. You cannot write on the response box unless you're going to write your response already. So please be acquainted with the pen and paper that is your friendly companion during the actual test. Because if you tend to type using the notepad, how would you try to scribble and dra draft your essay using the pen and paper if you keep on using notepad during your review? You're gonna freak out, oh, there's, right, there's pen and paper here. I thought there's notepad. No, there's no notepad. So try to be acquainted with the pen and paper that is your friendly companion. So that probably your, your, uh, your armor, okay, your pen and paper. So the, in the planning stage, it will just take you two minutes. Two minutes. What are going to plan? The planning stage requires you to plan your body paragraphs. 
not your introduction. Okay? You just have to plan the main paragraphs of your essay. So here, here are some of the, the ideas for our essay. Benefits of getting a job. Probably, um, yeah, you can start earning money. Uh, you are autonomous and you're, you become dependent. You can gain more experience because you, you, uh, you market yourself at a young age. Because probably um, if you graduated in high school, I think you're already 18 years old. Yes. Except it depends upon the, the education system if your basic education requires you 10 years or 12 years. But here in the Philippines, our basic education is 12 years. So technically, if students will graduate in, uh, from high school, they're already um, in the, the right age to, to venture a job after graduation you could learn more skills get promotions probably but it depends upon the job that you will be venturing to settle down earlier i agree because i'm probably i'm earning money now i'm earning my salary i do not know if it's beyond the minimum wage or or just in the minimum or less than the minimum wage it depends I can even afford a house, for example. And even lastly, have my own family. So these are some of the ideas that you can, you could, you, you could introspect. All right, let's keep going. Next, studying at university or college. Probably some jobs require academic qualifications. Yes, that's why you're studying. And there is a better more opportunity or even opportunities that await you if you have completed, a, uh, if you have a college degree. Higher salaries, of course. Um, it, be, it depends on your qualification or educational qualification and your work experience as well. The job market is very competitive, exactly. This is the trend in the 21st century. It, it, the job market is very competitive. So there are lots of graduates who are vying for one position. And what is your edge amongst the throngs of graduates? They have, they graduated in, in prestigious universities or even in Ivy Leagues or in five-star, I should say, so to speak, um, five-star universities or well-known universities. Yeah, so what is, your, what is your edge amongst them? You can even gain knowledge, most especially if you're really, for example, I am mechanic, okay? For example, I graduated in high school and now I'm working as a mechanic, probably be because that is my forte or my forte, okay? However, if I venture college, probably I could upgrade my skills. I could even be a, a mechanical engineer. So from mechanic to mechanical engineer, right? So those are the pros. Lastly, you can even became, become a successful member of society. Yes, because of the taxes that you're paying. Of course, if you're higher salaries, <laughs> it requires higher uh, taxes. All right. So those are just my, my ideas. So now I want you to prepare your ideas as well. I'm gonna give you two minutes. So here's the essay again. Oops. All right, I think the, the second one, the one with color codings. Okay, so here, I want you to grab a pen and paper and try to draft your essay. You just have to draft the body paragraphs one, just like what I did. Studying university or venturing a job after college. You may now begin. I'll tell you when the time is over. You have two minutes, you can now begin.
All right. Your two minutes is up. So stop writing. Okay, let me just uh, walk you through again with the essay paradigms. So which style would you like to venture or would you like to employ? Could you chat? Okay, your preference first. But today, in our guided practice, I would like you to choose one side. Okay, you're going to be joining me with the same, uh, not the same, of course, it's, it, it could be side one or side two, but the, the point of view is the same. You're going to choose or lean on to one side. But what is your preference just in case? Is it the block style one? Is it the block style two? Block style three, block style four, or point by point style. Okay, so you guys have your block styles, okay? Uh, block style one, majority block style one. Okay, anyhow, it's the same as the, the, the block style that I will be using, okay? But I want you to agree to one side, to choose your side. Okay. Which one would you like to lean on to your, um, yeah, you mentioned block style one. Just go. Okay, let's move on to block style one. I want you to have one-sided opinion. One-sided opinion. So which opinion? Studying at the university or to get a job after high school? Okay, so you guys are more inclined to studying at university. All right, so without any further ado, let's get started with the writing of your introductory paragraph okay but i'll uh, i'm gonna use the block style three yes so it's one-sided block style three okay i'm not going to have opinion at the end but basically i mean yeah restatement of my opinion of course but Explicitly saying, I mean, explicitly writing another introductory par, I mean, body paragraph for my opinion. Mm, there's no need. Okay. All right. So now, the introductory paragraph. So let's get started. So in the introductory paragraph, um, I'm going to help you with how you structure. So here, as you have seen, you can see a table. Can you see the table? Please type yes. All right, so this table will help us to write your introduct, uh, introductory paragraph, okay? Our ways how we rewrite the, the thesis statement or our essay structure in a problem and solution essay is different in this uh, essay prompt, okay? So let me just remind you with the essay prompt. Some people believe that studying at university or college is the best route to a successful career, while others believe that it is better to get a job. Discuss both views and give your opinion. So in the first column here, I will show you the sample response. In the second column, these are the things that you're, you're gonna be doing, the to-dos of the sample response. So basically you will be paraphrasing and giving your thesis statement. Let's have the first one. Okay, so the first is paraphrasing. Don't try to have hook, okay? Don't try to have hook. Basically, you just have to enhance your paraphrasing skill. 
here, what is the phrase that we have or statement that we have to paraphrase? It's basically the, the two situations. So the two situations are some people believe that studying at university or college is the best route to a successful career, where others believe that it is better to get a job. So what comes next, Coach A? So here's a sample response. So here's my paraphrase. When they finish school, teenagers face the dilemma of whether to get a job or continue their education. Coach A, it's kind of, it's just a complex sentence. This one sentence, is it fine? Yes, don't invest too much in your introduction and don't spend too much time in your introduction. You just have to get into the nucleus, penetrate into the nucleus of the topic. And this, is, and this is a good paraphrase. When they finish school or high school, teenagers face the dilemma of whether to get a job or continue their education. What comes next in your pa after paraphrasing? Answer the essay prompt. Where can you find the essay prompt? The essay prompt is here. Discuss both views and give your opinion. So how would you answer the essay prompt? is by writing the thesis statement of your, intro, of your essay. And the thesis at the, is at the end of your introductory paragraph. So here, look at my thesis. While there are some benefits to getting a job, uh, while there are some benefits to getting a job straight after school, I would argue, argue that it is better to go to college or university. Again, I, I structured my thesis statement using a, com a complex sentence, okay? First, I, start off, I started with while, which is a subordinator. While there are some benefits of getting a job to getting a job straight after school, so it means I'm acknowledging, yeah, there are some benefits, but I would argue that it is better to go to college or university. So this is, your S, uh, this is your thesis statement if you will go one-sided, one-sided. If it is balanced, you will not write like, like this, okay? You will just, there are, you can even say in this essay, both views are worthy to be considered, blah, 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 blah. In this essay, I will be, I will juxtapose the two, uh, I, uh, for example, from my perspective, I believe that these or both views have merits to, um, are, are both beneficial or advantageous in, in people's lives or in teenagers' lives. Yeah, it's up to you. But today, I want you to lean on to one side, okay? I would like you to do that. I want to see how you strike the essay in one-sided. Don't worry. I'm going to give you another practice for you to, to go with your own preference. But this time, you are controlled. You are controlled. All right. So if we're going to combine these two, two sample responses, we, are, we will arrive with this one. Your introduction should look like this now. When they finish school, teenagers face the dilemma of whether to get a job or continue their education. While there are some benefits to getting a job straight after school, I would argue that it is better to go to college or university. That's all. I would argue, argue that it is better to go to college or university. What if I'm going to use, you know, uh, I mean, my stand is to get to get a job straight, okay. While there are some benefits of studying at college or any university, I would argue that it is better to get a job straight after graduating high school education or high school, uh, yeah, secondary, uh, secondary education. So don't write in, verb, uh, in a verbose introduction. So now I will give you I'm going to give you three minutes for you to write your introductory paragraph. Thereafter, I want you to post it on our Zoom group chat.
Your three minutes starts now. Okay, dokey. All right, your time is over. Don't spend too much time. Okay, so by the way, um, I'm going to be using 40 minutes. So two minutes for your outlining, three minutes for your introductory paragraph, 15 minutes in both paragraphs, and five minutes for your conclusion. Overall, 40 minutes. So let me just read um, one from an anonymous sender or writer. In this new era, many people find it difficult okay, to decide if finishing college would be a better step than pursuing a job immediately to become successful. Um, probably you can say than pursuing a job in immediately in order to become successful. I believe that it is vital to complete the higher education first before going to a particular job that a person wants. Okay, good. It seems that your view, anonymous writer, that you are more inclined to completing higher education before venturing employment, all right, before facing the corporate world. Next, we have one from another. After completing education at university, a student will get his dream job and education, health in current, blah, 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 in the current market scenario. Okay, please revise this. This is technically about supporting, supporting the education. Again, you have to just um, paraphrase the situation. Mention this and mention that. Mention the side one and mention the side two. I want you to disclose in your introduction what are the things. What are the things that you, are, you will be discussing in your main paragraphs? Don't, probably after completing education, this is basically about uh, this sentence has to be included in the body paragraphs or part of your thesis statement. Next, 
So we have another one. Education is an important tool to have a better chance of succeeding in life, especially with your chosen career. Oops, no use. Don't use the pronoun you. You're not blogging. So don't use the pronoun you. So always in the third person. Always in the third person personal or third person impersonal. Especially with people's chosen career. Okay. However, I strongly okay. I strongly believe that graduating from a university. Okay, don't capitalize university since you use a definite indefinite article unless you mention the university. But make sure that you mention what is the name of that university. University of the Philippines, for example, you mentioned that in your first sentence. That's the time that you're going to be using the university. So you're pertaining to the University of the Philippines. But in this case, don't um, capitalize the U. I strongly believe that graduating from a university with your, please don't use you, with the uh, with college degree is more beneficial to everyone. So how would you juxtapose? Where's the second side? Okay, I can see, I can see the second side of the argument. Okay, because in your intro, in the first sentence, you just mentioned or define what what the importance of education or the significance of education. Why not to say like this? Education is an important tool to have a better chance of succeeding in life, especially with your chosen career, with for, uh, people's chosen career. People's chosen career. There are a group of, however, there are arguments that arise that it is better to have, there are arguments that arise that it is better to have to venture a job than to further educate, than to study further education after graduating high school. I, or from my perspective, I believe that it is more beneficial to study in college than blah, blah, blah. Upon graduating, so we have another one. Upon graduating from high school, people are bound to make one of the most important decisions of their lives. Is Okay, instead of semicolon, I think it would be better if we're going to use dash. Dash is important, okay, is continuing education. Lights, okay, dash or comma, but since you're emphasizing this part, continuing education, I think the right punctuation mark to use is the dash. Dash is continuing education, the, ne the next step or getting a job, okay, is continuing education the next step or getting a job is the best way to go forward. While there are benefit, where, while there are definitely some advantages to directly venturing into employment, pursuing a, a higher education is a key. Is a key to a better professional journey and a successful life. Okay, aside from while, you can even say although. Yes, both while and although are used when you are writing a thesis statement in a concession type. Although, However, they differ when it comes what with the, the next word after the word while or although. But this one is very good. Okay. All right. So who else? Anyhow, so let's keep moving. Now, give yourselves a pat on your back. You're doing a great job in your introduction. At this point, let's move on to body paragraphs. All right. So again, let me just remind you. This is the block style that I will be employing in my essay. So if your, cho if your choice is block style one, make sure that it, you have to write another body paragraph as to state your one-sided point of view. Okay? I want you to write in one-sided whether uh, you will venture block style one, two, three, four, or point, point by point. All right. So in your case, let me just remind you, this is your paradigm. Meaning to say, if it is block style one, you just have to give the discussion. Discuss, discuss, and give your opinion in the third or fourth body or fifth body paragraph. All right? 
okay, then don't don't give your opinion in this in both sides if you will use block style one. You you just you just have to describe. I mean, discuss or elaborate it. But in my style, which is the block style three, it allows me to give my opinion in the second side because I describe or I mention that I'm going to stand by like this and like that. Okay, so let's keep going. So there are uh, two ways how you could structure your paragraph. And I taught you about how we use the, the multi-idea paragraphing and the single idea paragraphing. So for the multi-idea paragraphing, it allows you to give, um, for example, your view is it is better to get a job. You can develop subtopics under this main topic to get a job. Okay? So it basically gives you or allows you to elaborate more. For the single idea paragraphing, it allows you to use the paradigm first. Topic sentence. Next, explain your topic. Next, give your example. Next, explain your example. Lastly, a concluding statement. So that is single idea paragraphing. Basically, discussing why it is better to get a job. Okay, so here I have a mix, a mix of one's uh, single idea paragraphing and multi-idea paragraphing. All right, so here's my body paragraph one. Look at my body paragraph one. So my body paragraph one is the, uh, what are the benefits of getting a job? So here are my notes. Okay, look at the, the panel here. So bring out your outline again and follow your notes. Starting earning a money, become independent, gain experience, learn skills, get promotion, settle down earlier, afford a house, and have a family. So, so here's my body paragraph one. Let's dive right into it. So here is the topic sentence. Remember whether multi-idea or single idea paragraphing, they have topic sentences. They both have topic sentences. Those are the two uh, common denominators of both paragraphing styles. So let me read. The option to start work straight after school is attractive for several reasons. So here, I mentioned several reasons it means I will use multi-idea paragraphing. Let's move on to the second statement. Many young people want to start earning money as soon as possible. In this way, they can become independent and they will be able to afford their, ho their own house or start a family. In terms of their career, young people who decide to find work rather than continue their studies, may progress more quickly. They will have the chance to gain real experience and learn practical skills related to their chosen profession. This may lead to promotions and a successful career. So now, so I covered starting our earning money, become independent, afford their own house, start a family, make progress more quickly, gain real experience, learn practical skills and promotion. So these are good ideas related to the topic getting a job or the benefits of getting a job. So I want you to, to generate concrete ideas, even if the, those ideas are are fake ideas or you just made things up. It's fine as long as they are related, okay? So you could begin or follow my structure, okay? You can follow the single or multi or multiple paragraphing. All right, so questions so far. I would like to entertain questions. Please chat on the Zoom chat box. Okay, before giving you the time, questions. If none, please type no. I mean none.
Okay, let's move forward. I'm going to give you another uh, 15, I mean, 15 minutes, of course. So five minutes for outlining and writing the introduction. Now, both paragraphs, you have to start or to use 15 minutes. All right, so use transitional devices and be simple to compound complex sentences. Your 15 minutes starts now. You may now begin.
Okay, time is up. Yes, only the first paragraph, first body paragraph. So don't write your body paragraph too yet. Okay, where's your first body paragraph? You may send, uh, send it over here. Okay, from an anonymous author. Okay, here's his or her right, uh, body paragraph one. Education always helps in enhancing skills which leads them. What skills? What skills will, will education enhance? Okay, that is also another, uh, that is the question, automatic uh, question, which leads them to be highly paid at the initial stage of their career. So what is, the, what is, that, what is that skill that being enhanced by education? It's unclear. However, a person's, a person's apostrophe S, Mentality is always, is always that an educated person is more socialized. Okay, this is unclear. So they will get more reputed position in an organization after completing its university. So who's its? Their university degree. Completing their. It cannot be its. Its. Stand is an objective pronoun that stands for uh, a noun, but not pertaining to, to persons. In future, promotion is more easy. This is unclear as well. Please uh, try to restructure this. There, uh, it lacks subject. It lacks uh, commas. That's why it makes it really difficult to read. Also, education helps in adapting advanced technology going forward to career growth. So, where is, in what, in what way? In what way, how can education help someone, help me to adapt? Could you give an example? Uh, it's unclear. It's very, you're, the, way you, the way you write the body paragraph, it's, it, it's in the facade of the topic. I want you to penetrate the core the inner core of the topic. And that is how you, get, you make it more specific. The nitty gritty, okay? Uh, try to be specific more, to be more specific rather. We can see stories, okay. We can see stories of great successful businessmen. This is from another author. Let me read. We can see stories of great successful businessmen who lack Stories, great. Who lack formal college, not collage. College. C-O-L-L-E-G-E, -E, not collage. Collage, it means um, uh, the style, how you arrange pictures. Bill Gates will be the one of the best examples. And there could be many fewer known heroes. Also who got la the limelight of success without... Uh, without and being without being an alumnus of a popular university. Alumnus is a male graduate. Alumna is a female graduate. All right, it's fine. Most, yes, since you're pertaining to Bill Gates. Okay, it's fine because Bill Gates is a man, so alumnus. All right, but everyone may not be as lucky as these people. These people, you just mentioned Bill Gates, and now you're gonna mention these people in the second sentence after you mention example Bill Gates. Hmm. You have to change this idea. Many people who entered into job immediately after their schooling faced issues in career progression and achieving success. Very good. It also depends on the nature of the job, opportunities to study on the job, 
or attending evening classes, all right? By the time, comma, many people realize the value of formal or professional education. It might be too, it might be too late to cash up. Okay, please work on with some. Uh, some, it lacks commas, it lacks pronouns, such as the last one. By the time, comma, many people realize the value of formal. You can just formal, say formal. Okay, there's no need for indefinite or definite article in IELTS. Formal or professional education, which might be too late to catch up. So which lacks which? Next, we have one from another writer. The opportunity to study in a university offers several advantages. Very good. I love the topic sentence. So I will advantages most so meaning to say there are more than one or at least two. It has a team of revered professors who are experts on their field. What do you mean? The, the opportunity to study, the opportunity to study university offers several advantages. So meaning to say, this writer, are you in favor of, is this your opinion already? Okay. It has a team of revered professors who are experts on their field. So what is the essence of this sentence to the first, to the topic sentence? Your, your, the topic or the subject of your first sentence is opportunity. And the subject, okay, and the object is a university. It has a theme. So probably you could replace. You, you, uh, there's a problem with paraphrasing because it pertains to technically the subject before. But here you can say, the university or schools or university and colleges has a team or have a team of revered professors who are experts on their field because it's very ambiguous. Next, they offer a richer pool of knowledge that they deliver to, to their students that is, that is really found outside the university. Okay, very good. Moreover, the university life offers an environment that is, that is conducive to learning and developing a person's character. Yes, 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 yes. This has something to do with the success, uh, uh, with the success of, uh, of somebody. I mean, a person, rather. The different array of activities offered inside... Okay. The different array of activities offered inside the campus can help each individual according to their chosen degree. Can each individual... Okay, individuals, there, there. So make it agree. These things are vital to create a mold, create and mold a person to become prepared of the life that they will have after graduation. Okay, it's really ambiguous. These things are vital to create and mold a person. So that's singular. To become prepared of the life they, so it has to be he or she, or he or she. You can use he or she. It's up to you. Because you just mentioned they, um, it, it replaces the word person. Okay, yeah. But the idea, what, what's mattered, ma what matters the most is very good. Next, we have one. It is widely known fact that completing education would lead to a success of an individual. Okay, you're on the, uh, the core. Having the degree will open a lot of opportunities and eventually landing acquiring managerial position in the future. Very good. Because of the qualifications that you have and you have probably, you have a degree in business management or business administration. Moreover, the variety of skills that a person can get at school would be beneficial in landing the desired job. Oh, I yeah, desired, okay. All right. Although it may seem like a struggle to finish college, the end result will be of humongous learnings that no one can take away. And what is that humongous learnings? What is that humongous learnings that cannot be, take, cannot be taken away? Therefore, prioritizing to earn an education is pivotal for success. And yeah, so probably 
Yeah, so try to be specific. So here, I mentioned even own a house, start a family, gain real experience, real practical skills. Those are very, very specific. Next, we have another one. Starting a job immediately after school might seem appealing to many fresh graduates, especially those who do not wish to chase after hardworking careers such as medicine, engineering, law, don't use, etc., and others. You can just replace and others because of the numerous benefits they could easily reap. Okay, good. Very good. Being financially independent is at the top of the list whereby they will be able to start making a living at a young age. Very good. This is very specific, even without using highfalutin language. This is what the examiner looks for, the test taker. Even if you're not, you know, you're not having flowery and flouting expressions in your essay, as long as you, you can use this, the different structures of sentences, how you make yourself relevant to the topic, that's good. You're good to go. You don't need those highfalutin words wherein the content or the nitty-gritty is just, it's just milk, not meat, not meaty. Let's keep going. This is very good, okay? Furthermore, getting hands-on experience and acquiring on-the-job knowledge, good. This is very specific. Might be more efficient for some professions, allowing people to master the required skills and become experts at what they do in a relative short amount of time. Very good. This is high scored, a high scored paragraph. All right, keep doing that. All right, so that's all. So please work on with the pronouns. So it's fine because we. You can still proofread at the end of her essay. Okay, so expect that you will commit some error mistakes with the pronouns. But it, it, it's going to be a major mistake if your, if your sentence doesn't actually, it's not a sentence. Should I say a, not a sentence? If a group of words doesn't have a subject, that is a fragment in fact. Okay, let's keep going. So it's fine, but what matters the most is that the nitty gritty okay let's keep going so here's the body paragraph two this is where i'm gonna talk about my opinion okay so my notes include some jobs require academic qualifications better job opportunities higher salaries the job market is very competitive gain knowledge become a useful member of society and so on and so forth but not all. Uh, I should say, just mention some, but I think I wasn't be able to cover the last two bullet points. But it's fine. It's just my notes. So here, here's my topic sentence. When you're providing a different idea, that's the time that you will be using transitional device or discourse markers, such as on the other hand, on the one hand, however. But make sure you should know how to use them. So here. By contrast, so basically, I'm hitting two birds in one stone, discussing and explaining. By contrast, I personally believe that it is more beneficial for students to continue their studies. Firstly, academic qualifications are required in many professions. For instance, it is impossible to become a doctor, teacher, or lawyer without have, having relevant degree. As a result, university graduates have access to more and better job opportunities, and they tend to earn higher salaries than those with fewer qualifications. Secondly, the job market is becoming increasingly competitive, and sometimes, there are hundreds of applicants for one position in a company. Young people who do not have qualifications from a university or college will not be able to complete. I mean, to compete. So that is my point of view. So whether you agree or, you agree or disagree, that's my point of view. So I basically, what I did here was first, I started with a topic sentence. Topic sentence. Next, I use the word firstly to state my first opinion. 
I mean, sub opinion. Then, topic sentence, explain my first opinion, exemplify my first opinion, what is the result of my first opinion. Then, secondly, the topic sentence in my second sub opinion, the explanation, and yeah, explanation. Yeah. All right. So, basically, I just employed the multi idea paragraphing. Okay. So try to cite examples to, to, to meet the word count. Okay, questions so far? Okay, with that, um, okay, I have one. No questions. All right, very good. Okay, so I hope all things are clear because I'm going to give you another time for you to write your body paragraph too. But in your case, since you guys ventured the, the block style one, so meaning to say you're not going to, to have your opinion. So this is just basically discussion. All right. Okay, your 15 minutes time starts now. You now begin.
All right, time is up. All right, before you pay, copy and paste your work over our Zoom group chat, I want you to chat your name. That serves as your attendance today, September 2. Okay, chat your full name. Okay, who else? And nay. All right. Okay, so you can drop your body paragraph to here. Together with your, uh, yeah, probably I'm going to give you some time as well. But uh, you should make sure that you, uh, you wrote your opinion paragraph because you follow the block style one. Should have one short paragraph for, for you to state your opinion. Okay. Probably you could send that after. Okay, so let's move on to the conclusion. Okay, so here's the concluding paragraph. So what do I need to do when writing concluding paragraph? So here. So basically you have to recap the topic and restate or reiterate your opinion. So look at my conclusion. So I just use compound complex sentence. So I just recap the topic and at the same time, I reiterate my opinion. For the reasons mentioned above, it appeals to me that students are more likely to be successful in their careers if they continue their studies beyond school level. Okay, so it appeals to me that students are more likely to be successful. So that's part of the topic. Just like what I mentioned, I'm hitting two birds in one stone. So I combine the recapping the topic and re reiterating my opinion. So let me read again. For the reasons mentioned above, it appeals to me that students are more likely to be successful in their careers if they continue their studies beyond school level. All right, if you... Uh, venture the block one, block style one, you will have a paragraph there, okay? Paragraph before the conclusion. So your conclusion doesn't require you to, um, to talk more about your opinion since you stated that in a separate paragraph. So your conclusion should be uh, composed of one to three sentences. So here I used two sentences. Yeah, in one sentence. Two independent clauses in one sentence. Okay, you have five minutes and it starts now. You can write your um, short paragraph for conclusion, I mean, for opinion paragraph. You can, and I want you to lean on to one side since you mentioned that you're more, uh, more inclined to studying at the university than getting a job. And in your conclusion, you have to recap the topic and re reiterate your opinion. Okay? Five minutes starts now.
Okay, time is up. All right, copy and paste your whole essay here. Go ahead, everyone. Okay, we have one runner from, uh, okay, this is for body paragraph two. So while waiting for your responses, let me just read. On the other side, high earning professionals and, and that offer people are more, people a more sustainable future, whether professionally or financially, comma, necessitate academic degrees, coupled with a set of competencies and qualifications and which one cannot earn without further education, okay? In addition, by offering students the required educational material, both theoretical and practical, okay, again, in addition, by offering students the, the educational materials, both theoretical and practical, universities or colleges play a big role in shaping young learners and preparing them for the professional field. I agree. This is gener This is the general fact. Okay. Oops. Let's keep going. Where is it? In addition, by offering students the, the required educational materials, both theoretical and practical, universities or colleges play a big role in shaping young learners and preparing them for the professional field, which will help them get ready to excel at work and achieve a fruitful career. Very good. Okay. I haven't seen any highfalutin words, but I can see the, the flexibility of language and sentence structure in this paragraph written by an anonymous writer. But what I love the most is the coherence and the logical structure of ideas. It doesn't, the, the writer does not write his or her, uh, the writer does not write his or her body paragraph to um, with whatever the things that comes to his or her mind. So this writer has an outline and I commend this writer. Okay. Very good for making an outline. It's really easy to follow. Okay, we have one as for, in my own perspective, education is a paramount and should be given priority. I truly believe in the, the value of education as the adage goes, as the uh, old adage goes, education is the key to success. Equipping oneself with academic qualifications will impact a person's performance task, performing the task. In conclusion, it is undeniable that having a decent educational background will make a big difference and people should learn its significance in order to, to have greener pasture. Okay, all right. Okay, good, this is good. Yes, I love the, the, the paragraph for the opinion, I mean, for the opinion. All right, so it seems that you don't want to send your responses, but I have to, to show this to you. All right, so this is my whole essay now. All right. So let me just read. When they finish school, teenagers face the dilemma of whether to get a job or continue their education. Well, there are some benefits of getting a job straight after school. I would argue that it's better to go to college or university. The option to start work straight after school is attractive for several reasons. Many young people want to start earning money as soon as possible. In this way, they can become independent and they will be able to afford their own house or start a family. In terms of their career, young people decide to find work to gain real experience and learn practical skills related to their chosen profession. Yeah, this may lead to promotions and a successful career. By contrast, I personally believe that it is more beneficial for students to continue their studies. Firstly, academic qualifications are required for many professions. For instance, it is impossible to become a doctor, teacher, or lawyer without having a relevant degree. 
as a result, university graduates have access to, um, to more and better job opportunities, and they tend to earn higher, higher salaries than those with fewer qualifications. Additionally, the job market is becoming increasingly competitive, and sometimes there are hundreds of applicants for one position in a company. Young people who do not have qualifications from a university or college will not be able to compete. For these reasons mentioned above, it appeals to me that students are more likely to be successful in their careers if they continue their studies beyond school level. So as you have noticed, I started introducing my idea in the blue, using the blue uh, color, okay? Blue fonts, uh, font styles, and the red is the, the other opinion. So as you have noticed, I have a, a really good structured essay. Whatever the things that I introduce are also the things that I discuss in body paragraph one and reiterated in my conclusion. And my word count is 275 words. Okay, so I want you to keep your work. I want to keep your work, but uh, if, if possible, I want you to send over your conclusion, okay? If possible. Now, while doing that, I want you to take a, a snapshot. Please take a snapshot of the writing task here. So this is your assignment. This is your assignment. All right. Are you guys still here? So your assignment is many people think that Okay, many people think that every individual is responsible for their own healthy lifestyle. Others believe that government should take care of it. Discuss both views and give your opinion. So please take a snapshot of these slides, or this slide rather, as you are going to, to write this using the Microsoft Word and send it over my Skype or email. Uh, do you understand? All right. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining the master class tonight. Let's call it a day. Uh, okay. When? Uh, as soon as you, um, before Friday, of course. Before Friday. Pre preferably on Thursday. 